Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Dell Precision 3591. To see the internals of this workstation, you have to undo eight captive Phillips head screws. Pry the two zones around the hinges with a lever tool. When that is done, the whole rear should be popped. If not, fully pry it with a thin plastic tool alongside the sides and the front. The device that we bought is equipped with the optional 97 watt hour battery. The default version is a 64 watt hour model. To remove it, unplug the connector by pulling it straight upwards while holding the rubber handle on top and undo the four Phillips head screws that secure the unit fixed to the chassis. The capacity is enough for around 12 hours and a half of video playback. Our test was conducted with the Energy Saver preset activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu and the Optimized mode applied in the Dell Optimizer app. According to Dell, the two SODIMs fit up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5,600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. In terms of storage upgrades, there are two M.2 slots for 2230 or 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. The left one is covered with a metal plate that is held in place by two screws. The shield houses two thermal pads on its bottom side. The system NVMe drive is installed in the right slot, and there are no dedicated cooling pads for it, which is a questionable decision by the manufacturer. The replaceable Wi-Fi 6E card is positioned on top of the RAM slots, and the W1 slot for optional LTE or 5G connectivity is on the left. The thermal system comprises a sizable fan, a pair of long heat pipes shared between the CPU and the GPU, a heat sink on the right, and two heat spreaders.